Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. And in today's video, we're gonna be replacing the front component set on this 2017 Ford F-250. Now in this install, we're gonna show you how to remove the factory door panel. We're also going to replace not only the mid-range in the door, but the tweeter in the dash. Then we'll head over to the bench to show you the new parts that we'll need for the install, including the speaker, bracket, and wiring harness adapter. Come back here and get them reinstalled. Let's get started. We plan on installing a six and a half. Technically, we can fit a six by eight here in this door, but a six by eight component set is not as easy to come by as the traditional six and a half inch component set. Today, we're gonna do a six and a half here and a tweeter in the dash. So the first thing we need to do, is start off with our little panel tool and kind of work this panel off. Just pop the clips loose. Okay, so we'll have two clips on the bottom and two clips there on the top. Next, I have an angled pick tool. Open this little cubby here. Two clips here and two tabs at the bottom. So you pull from the top edge and I'll expose two screws there. And then finally, kind of a combination between a flat head and a panel tool, we need to take this cover off. And right here, there's gonna be a little indent where you can get a tool in there and just start it take over with my panel tool. Now it feels like you're breaking it. Like it's, it sounds like it's cracking, but it's really not. It's just the clips releasing. Be very careful. There we are. So tons of unnecessary clips. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six here and a tab. So you start from the front. Now either a seven millimeter or nine thirty second will work. Now they are all different, so keep the pair separate so you know exactly where they went. With all the screws now removed, let's go ahead and release the door by popping the clips up and around the panel. Kind of get it a little tuck in the corner here. Put your hands back behind. Your last clips and lift. You're gonna have some various harnesses. Go ahead and disconnect those. We'll show you what they look like here in a moment. Now for all our harnesses here, they all have little tabs that you just press in and then pull and then they should come on free. They're all pinned and sized differently so you can't get them mixed up. And then this, this guy back here, there's a little tab that you pull on down and that will release this mechanism. Now it looks like this storage panel's been off before. At this point, with the panel out of the way, we can now pull our door speaker. Disconnect your harness. Okay, there we are. There's our factory six by eight. We'll turn our attention to the tweeter. Let's go ahead and get our tweeter removed. Okay, so for our tweeter, it's way up here in the A-pillar towards the front by the windshield on both sides. So we need to get this off. It's actually really easy. There's two 10 millimeter bolts holding this in. We just gotta remove these covers. And everything else, it's just, it'll slide on out. It's that easy. The other one doesn't come totally out because it rotates down so you can get a socket in there. But I like to pull it all the way out just so I don't damage this. It's easy to break this off. Grab your 10 mil. All right, so once you've removed those two 10s, kind of give it a shake. It actually should come on out. Now you'll see your tweeter down there and there's a harness. Go ahead and disconnect the harness off the tweeter and your eight pillar should come right on out. So with this done and out of the way, let's head to the bench to show you the parts that we're gonna need for our install. All right, so we're here at the bench. Now the parts that we're gonna need for our install, first and foremost are the speakers that we've chosen to go with. Uh, we're doing the SCAR Audio TX65C. These are six and a half inch component speakers comes with a mid-range, a crossover, and your tweeter itself. Now we're not installing this crossover anywhere in the front. We're actually doing this a part of a bigger build or installing a four channel amplifier and such. And so we'll be mounting these crossovers actually in the rear by the factory Sony amplifier. 
We'll show you what that looks like a little bit later on. Now to accommodate these in the factory location, we need a bracket adapter. We're going with this six by eight conversion adapter. It's the Metra 82-5607. This comes in pairs and so you'll be able to do um, both front doors with these. And for the wiring in the doors, we need the Metra 72-5602. Essentially, this is a plug and play for the tweeter up in the A pillar, not as plug and play friendly, and we'll need to make some sort of bracket to hold the aftermarket tweeter in the factory location. And we'll cover that here in a minute. We're going to prep our bracket adapter. Now it does accommodate a six inch speaker, with these smaller tabs, since we're doing the six and a half or six and three quarters, we'll need to break off these inner tabs to give us the space that we need so our speaker can sit flush. Additionally, our wiring harness adapter is on the outside of the speaker. It doesn't come in through the back within the door. So we're gonna drill a little hole here to allow our harness to pass through the bracket without anything getting pinched. So put a little hole there, just use the unibit big enough for our wiring harness to pass on through. Now, your wiring harness adapters do have these loops. <laughs> it's just for specific uh, Ford Mazda vehicles that would essentially have the tweeter running through the mid-range, and then you loop that through so your tweeter continues to work. We only have two wires on the factory side going in. You could cut these out. We're just going to tape them up and uh, leave them there just so we don't have any exposed wiring within the door. All right, so we prepped our harness, a little test of tape just to protect it from chafing within the bracket. Okay, so we got our harness all connected to our speaker. That's all done. This end plugs into the factory plug within the door. So here's our A pillar. Now we want to pull out the factory tweeter. It's held on with two Phillips screws. Now, next here, we need to figure out a good way to mount our new SCAR Audio Tweeter in this location. Um, my suggestion is, and what we've done in the past, is we can build a bracket out of ABS, we can use this little bit of strapping that came with our speaker, or you can use some universal strapping as well, some back strapping, to make a bracket. Here's what we've done in the past, is we've created these little ABS plastic mounts, just out of plastic, used a heat gun, bend them, just takes some time to get that done depending on your tweeter design ours actually has two holes in it we can mount this just like so in that location but we do have to do a little bit of trimming here so this little ridge we can just trim out a little u to allow space for our tweeter to sit flush here in this location then we'll use the strapping to go up and over it and use those factory screw holes to mount our tweeter nice and solid all right so what i've done here is i've created a little back strapping mount here with that piece of back strapping, cut it all nice to size. Here on our hay pillar, I trimmed here as well. What this will do, sit perfectly right in that spot with two little screw holes. Makes it nice and easy and clean. We'll probably mount it this way so our harness is facing downwards. And uh, this will be nice and solid and uh, removable if needed in case they have to do any maintenance to the tweeter. Super clean. Now one last note about our crossover. Some component sets will have a built-in crossover within the tweeter, kind of like an Alpine Type S or Type R, which makes it really nice because you don't need to worry about an external crossover like this. You can actually just hook this up to the factory tweeter within the uh, A-pillar, and this, your mid-range, will also have a built-in crossover. Our set here, this SCAR audio set, does not have that convenience as the external crossover will have to be mounted somewhere where our tweeter will need to come from the crossover output tweeter and our mid-range comes from the output from the mid-range on our crossover, then their input comes from whatever source that we're gonna feed our new speakers. Most cases, probably a four channel amplifier. Now, in this case, because we don't have a built-in crossover, this will need to go somewhere and our model happens to have the Sony sync system, which we're bypassing. And so our tweeter wire actually goes all the way back to the rear of the vehicle already. So we're gonna mount our crossover in the back by the factory amplifier, which we're back bypassing, because we're gonna run our own SCAR Audio 4 channel. So it may differ in your application. Don't just hook up speaker wires. You gotta ensure that if you're doing a component set, you probably have some sort of crossover, either they're built in or separate like we do.
Okay, so we're gonna grab our speaker here. Let's go ahead and put it in the same location as the factory one was. So it's always a good idea to double check and test your install before you put the door panel on. Everything is good to go for us. So we're gonna reassemble the door panel in reverse order, everything clips back into place and we'll turn our attention over to getting our tweeter installed. All right, now for our tweeter wiring, there is no harness really available on the market that'll plug into that plug. So what we'll need to do is actually just cut this and strip the wire back and hardwire in our tweeter. But we're gonna cut this, leave us plenty of length here. Then from that point forward, uh, we'll strip the ends. We'll, uh, you can either solder today, but you don't wanna burn your dash by accident. So we're gonna use some crimp caps. And once that's all done, we can reinstall our a pillar cover. All right, so we have made our connections here. Cut the harness off. We left enough on that factory speaker harness side in case this has to be ever reconnected. Uh, but we have identified our positive and negative. So you have a green with kind of an orange stripe. Then you have like a gray with an orange stripe. Green with an orange stripe is your positive. Gray with your orange stripe is your negative. Put a nice crimp in those connections and that will fold away it gives us plenty of length here and it'll all tuck here in the a pillar for our front speakers there are our crossovers we mounted them there and fortunately with our Sony amplifier we have two sets of speaker outputs one specifically for the mid-range and the doors one for the tweeter so we just extended those using a harness that you'll see in our amp install video to wire up our crossovers which was very convenient to have that all done so we didn't have to run any new speaker wiring whatsoever <laughs> For this install, if you have any questions on what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. If you want to see the rest of the install, in that video we did a four channel amplifier and bass amp, as well replacing the rear speaker. So check those videos on out. We'll have those links in the description. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. We'll see you in the next video.